Hi guys, it's uh, Justin, VA3, JJW. Um, I just wanted to send, make a quick video about how to send uh, email or text via APRS. And I'm not talking about the WinLink uh, APRS gateway, but um, the APRS email server gateway. So uh, I'm by no means an expert in this. In fact, some days I barely know what I'm doing, I think. But... Um, I thought it might be helpful for those type of video. This is a Kenwood D710, um, which I think does make it a little bit easier to do all this stuff. So step one, make sure you have APRS running. In band A, I'm running uh, voice, a local repeater. And in ba band B, band B, I'm running APRS, so 144.390. Uh, you can see it's saved in my memory channels as APRS. It's important to make sure you have the little D there. Um, sometimes in the beginning, um, in the settings, you can set band A or band B uh, to use the TNC. You got to make sure that that little digital thing is there indicating what band you're operating on. Okay, It doesn't have much to do with um, which side is in control at the moment. But you can see band A is actually in control at the moment. Uh, APRS 12 at the top. You can see that we're beaconing and uh, we're broadcasting GPS. So what we're going to do is go into message. Um, we're going to go to new message and who do we want to send this message to? Um, there are a couple different email servers. Uh, the one that I've had the best luck with is email two. So we'll quickly enter that. Uh, I'm entering with the keypad. You can use a dial, which I'll demonstrate both in a second. Um, and this part is a little bit time consuming. So if you see here, I push the over button. You can rotate through until you find the letter or symbol you want. In which case, I want the dash. Press over and turn and get the one. Uh, except we want email dash to server. Select button, select again, brings us to our body. Now this is where you want to put uh, the email address. So like I said before, I'm using the mic to enter it. So I'm going to enter my email address, which is just WhitmanJustin at Hotmail.com. So I'm going to hit uh, 9 for W, and you'll see it pop up there. Uh, H, so I'm going to hit 4. The first time I hit it, I get G. The second time I hit it, I get H. Um, and I think you get the idea. It's kind of like the old way of sending a text message. So it is slow, unfortunately. Um, and it does take some time, but I'll show you a bit of a shortcut if you've emailed the address before. Um, the other thing you can do is um, you can send this to a as a text, not just an email. So most um, cell phone companies, providers, have a email to text service. So if you look up on their website, it'll say how to do it. So usually it's something like, 10 digit phone number at text dot rogers for example dot com or ca um, and what that will do is um, it will send the the message to them Oop, I messed that up a little bit uh, so in that case we're going to go back we're going to clear that one clear again and I'm going to put an in there um, but it'll, what it'll do is send the message right to their phone, which is handy. Um, I'll often do it if I don't have great cell service or my cell phone's dead and, uh, you know, I'm getting close to someone's house. I'll just send them a message saying I'm almost there. Now, whether it's through email or text, I don't believe that they can reply to you uh, through this service. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, please say so in the comments because it might be handy. Um, but also, I'm not sure you'd, you'd really want them to unless they're another uh, ham operator. <clears throat> I guess that's a disadvantage uh, versus using the WinLink interface um, because with that, under the right conditions, people could email you back. Okay, sorry, I'm almost done here. It does take some time, which is why um, 
I'll make another video sometime of why I like to use um, like a computer interface better than this. Even though this works just fine. Okay, now we're going to go over. Uh, we're going to hit space. And then we can send our message. So we'll just go... I don't know. We'll just go... Hi. So select... And you see it sent there. Uh, we should get an acknowledge message in a second, hopefully. And then a message saying that it was sent. So you can see my message in the top there. I believe that what that means is that we're hearing our own message. So it is being digipeded. Which is good. Just got to give it some time to work through the system. Yep. So email to email sent to Whitman Justin at hotmail.com. Great. Now I'll show you a just quick shortcut. Uh, let's say, you know, a couple days later, I wanted to email that email address again. We go into message. Um, and if we go down here, this is the email to this one. And if we just edit it okay we can change the email address or change the message so this would be handy let's say I wanted to say you know I'm gonna be late or something you don't have to go through the process of typing in the email again uh, especially if it's a long one and then when you're done just hit the select button and it will send it again and we'll see the confirmation come in a minute uh, while we're waiting for that I'm just going to clear this so that's the confirmation message we got this is a uh, another confirmation message for a practice one okay so um Oh, there we go. Confirmation message. So the email is sent again, and you're good. Okay, guys, I hope that was a little bit helpful. Um, if I got anything wrong, please let me know. Or if there's other features that I haven't really addressed, um, let me know. And then for the uh, email to text, make sure you check with your provider what the actual um, end of the email address is, whether it's at Rogers or at Bell. It's not, it's not quite that simple. It's usually something like at text dot bell or rogers or tell us or whoever okay 73 guys have a good day